I wrote a song for Danny DeVito and I need him in my music video. It's been slow and we've made little progress. So me and my team have decided to take it up a notch. Yes. Yeah. A little while ago, I tried to fool the internet that I was being sent random Danny DeVito packages. Every single day, I get a notification saying, Oh, I've got a new package. Hey, Mom. Yes, honey? You didn't order this Danny DeVito stuff, did you? No, I didn't. I don't know what this is exactly, but thanks for sending it. Guys, I swear I didn't order this. I kept getting these packages sent to me. Wait, who is this? It was Danny. That's what I'm saying. I don't know who was sending it. Until my so-called friends sat me down for an intervention. I've been meaning to talk to you about something. They were genuinely concerned about what I was doing. I told you, I don't know who sent them. I told you, I don't know who sent them. What do you mean who Although sent them? Although I tried them? to assure them that it wasn't me sending packages to myself, they saw through the lie. It made me admit that I was indeed behind it all. Fine, I sent the packages. Is that what you wanted me to say? We're gonna get you help. Uh-uh. I don't even help out. It was a low point in my life. As I stared down the barren corner of my room, I recalled some words that my friend used to describe my obsession. Um, next thing you know, she's gonna read a song. Because of my recent obsession, I had forgotten that I can make pretty good music. So I had the great idea of birthing Danny DeVito. <laughs> Danny DeVito! But very quickly I realized that this pipeline dream was going to be much harder than I anticipated. The song was too good for Danny DeVito to not hear, and my love too strong to just let this dream disappear. So like my mother says, when you want something bad enough, you'll do everything in your power to get it. So I locked myself in my room and researched for days to put together the perfect plan. This is the master plan. Danny DeVito is a man of many talents, most known for his work as the Daddy and Matilda, the voice of the Lorax, always sunny in Philadelphia, and many more. Despite mega success and fame, our humble king tries to maintain a low profile and blend in with the average Joe. So my first step would be to catch the tiger in the wild. Foot trolls. Everybody knows that Hollywood stars live in the iconic Beverly Hills. Danny DeVito lives there too. He often posts pictures to his Twitter of his beautiful feet with the caption, Foot Troll. Since our elusive celeb likes to go under the radar, we went to La Cienega Nail Joint, rated five stars on Yelp. Has um, Danny DeVito ever come in here? I've heard that. You would know, you would recognize him. He's like 4'11". He never came here before. What? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? No. He's never come here before? If someone 4'11", you think they'd have like a smaller door to get into their home? Like, do you think if I drive around Beverly Hills, I should look for a small door? Like some... To... <laughs> no. Are you trying to marry him? <laughs> I am trying to marry him. <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah. Oh. Danny DeVito was born in Neptune Township, New Jersey. And what do these East Coasters love more than a good episode of Jersey Shore and Snooky? Pizza. So we went to the famous Joe's Pizza located in Hollywood to try to see when Daddy DeVito was last there. So when did you last see him? I saw him two weeks ago. In here? In here. And what did, what did he get? He got, he got the veggies and the meat lover. And the, he got the veggie and the meat lover? I mean, he's, he's a big guy, you know, he's got a grill. <laughs> I say, I'm actually like slightly in love with him. Oh, I mean, everyone is. Right? I know, he's such a He's good charming. Actor. Yes. And he's a good father, you know? Yes. I think I can taste him. We're here at CVS. My friend on my walk told me that he's seen Danny DeVito here. Uh, he was in a car at CVS. He was just leaving. And <laughs> all I could see was mostly his head because he's a little guy. I'm picking up a script for Danny DeVito. How do you spell Danny's last name? D-E-V-I-T-O. Danny, Danny, D-A-N-N-Y, D-E-V-I-T-O. 
Danny DeVito. You're okay. Do, do they live in Um, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It felt a little incriminating what I was doing at CVS, and I didn't want to cross a line, so we had to turn away. I knew the chances of bumping into Dee Dee would be slim, so I printed out some Dee Dee posters that I had my graphic designer make, and I would put them around the places that I had valid reason to believe to be his local hangout spots. Has anyone seen Danny DeVito? I think we're gonna find him. We will find him. We're gonna find Danny DeVito. We're gonna find Danny DeVito. As I put up these posters, I kept running into one issue. People wanted to know what the reward was. Just tell me at least what is the reward for this fool? We're here at Burbank Animal Shelter to find ourselves a pup in need of a new home. Oh my gosh! Hi! You're so pretty! Hello! Oh, she's really pretty. Oh my god, that's so cute! Hello! Oh god, let's touch her. Okay. So we got a dog! We're gonna give you away soon to someone. And I know you're gonna miss me a lot, but. It's just how it has to be, you know? I told people an amazing reward. And you are the best reward. I am stuck with this dog until someone calls me about Danny DeVito. I know, I don't want to be, I don't want a dog either. I know, I don't know how to take care of it. I get it, mom. It was a, okay, fine, it was stupid. I shouldn't have done it, but what, what am I meant to do now? Most people were just interested in the reward, but one man knew exactly where he would be. We weren't sure if this man was lying to us. His eyes seemed genuine, but on average, 22% of the LA population is full of backstabbing, unfaithful, dishonest people. They do? CBS Studios. Gate 9. What? Yes, that's right. Say that one more time. CBS Studios at Gate 9. They're right there, the sets. You're racing. I was just there last month. What's your name? Rodrigo. Oh! Thank you. Wonderful! Thank Amazing, you so nice much. to meet you, thank you. Since this was our only lead we had gotten, we decided to follow it. Hello. Hi. We're here um, because we're meant, to be pull we're meant to be pulling up here and get some media passes. Oh, we're going to Studio 9. Um, they media. Told you, they told you Radford Studios? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. So yeah, just call, call them, let them know you need to drive on past, it'll take a second. Okay, okay, thank you. Bye-bye. We were brutally turned away. That blue-eyed bitch lied to us. And maybe we had hit a dead end. Chloe, Chloe, you sh shut on my shrine. This is getting frustrating, frustrating, okay? I just want to meet Danny DeVito. It's that fucking simple. I gotta go. Goodbye. Same, Chloe. Same. But after days and days, there was no activity, and the only call I received was from my parents to check up on me. I began to worry. A week had gone by in radio silence. This is not the exact progress report I was hoping for. I thought by now we would have a lead. I've looked everywhere. I don't know where to find this man. Getting to feel like I'm just shooting arrows in the dark. I wanted reassurance that everything would eventually fall into place and be worthwhile. So before moving on to the next phase, I did what any rational person would do in this situation. I hired a psychic. Will I find him through? You will find him. He is the one. You're going to put something out there that he's going to see. Okay. And that's how the connection will happen. Wow. 
What does he look like? He's shorter than me. You're going to have to get under his skin, see life through his eyes. And Evie, don't be afraid to go where the monsters are. Darling, who is this person here? It's Danny DeVito. Everybody loves a sub story, especially news channels. But what about a Danny DeVito story? We needed to fabricate a shocking story that can grab Mr. DeVito's attention more than some silly posters. So I went onto Craigslist and held an open casting to find the best Danny DeVito lookalike. My goal is not to find a Danny doppelganger, but instead, a man to play his long lost identical twin. Hey, 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 Danny, and, and the whole world. I am recording this video right now to let you know I'm your brother. And I'm your brother. That I, I am your brother. A lot of things have happened to me in the past couple of years that brought me to this point. Well, the first thing is, I'm like in <laughs> That's why I wanted to reach out to you. Not because I need the money. But because I feel I might not have that much longer to live with the situation I'm in. I matched with your manager on Hinge. I matched with your manager on Hinge. I matched with your manager on Hinge and for some reason now, I'm blocked on all his and your social media profiles. Of course, I'm catfished him. No way he was gonna match with an ugly schmuck like me. Come visit me. I'll be sitting here, right here. In this theater, waiting for your call. Look at me, Danny. I'm a mess. <laughs> Please find me, Danny. I beg you. Please find me. Love, David. Out of all the contestants, only one of them blew me away with their performance. We are the perfect person to play Danny DeVito's twin. I'm David. I'm Danny's brother. I'm David DeVito. However, to make sure he's prepared for the moment he meets Danny, we put him in a real life simulation. This, this feels surreal. Never, never in my wildest dreams would I ever have imagined actually finding you. I was felt I was missing something. Yeah, me too. I, I mean, I knew you were out there. I was just so ashamed of coming forward because because I, I thought that no one would ever believe me. I would believe you. You're trustworthy and genuine. And seeing the video you posted, I mean, look at us. We're identical. We could not be. Long lost twins. I love you. I love you. I love you more. I love you more. <laughs> <laughs> So now we will post Jerry's homemade video to the internet and watch it get picked up by major news channels like we've seen work in the past. There you go. Thank yeah. You. Thank you so much, Jerry. Okay. okay. Oh, you're welcome. Really. All the Love best. You guys. Yeah. All right. So please stay in touch. If you guys want to talk about anything, if I can help you guys in film projects. Thank but you were more than kind with the way you treated Thank us. Thank you. Yeah. You're amazing. Thank you. As I was on my shopping spree, a random video caught my attention. It was a flesh model of Danny DeVito's head on a talk show. Oh my 
I watch this video tens and hundreds of times. If this mask could get the attention of a major talk show or millions of viewers, it made me curious. What could it do for me? I dug hard and deep to find the original creator of the mask and reached out to him. If we get this mask, we can go viral and get Danny's attention. He told me he was out of town but is coming to Monsterpalooza in LA. As I saw the words Monsterpalooza typed in our email thread, it immediately traced me back to the only useful advice the OG fairy had given me that day. Don't be afraid to go where the monsters are. To get one step closer to finding Danny DeVito, we've come to the one place, we've come to the one place that we know we'll be able to find the mask that was on Jimmy Kimmel. Okay, wonderful. We're here. We're here in um, uh, animal costumes. Nice. Okay. Hello. Hello. Lovely to meet you. So you'll want to have somebody else like adjust the glasses for you. Uh, Hyper Flesh Dude. Hyper Flesh is the name of the company. And take that a look at this. That sounds sexy. Hyper Flesh. Yo, you got a mic right there. Okay. <laughs> Keep it safe. I will. Baby, I please. will. I will. I will. Trust me. Okay. It's a baby. This is. I care about this as much as you do. Okay. Yeah. Danny DeVito wore this. And Evie, I agree. <laughs> Thank you. Thank. You. Listen. Thank you. It's my baby. I know. I'm. I'm gonna keep it safe for you. Thank you. We just got into Monster Palooza, and I'm freaking out because. I have the most fun. So what's some advice you can give to a first comer in Monster Palooza? A first comer to um, expect the unexpected. Would you expect me to be here? Uh, no. You look like you would be friends with Danny DeVito. Oh, do you what does his like? breath smell like? I got someone saying it smelled like clam chowder. Ugh. Would you let Danny DeVito eat your Cheetos? <laughs> Cheetos. Really? Mm -hmm. If you were Danny DeVito, like close your eyes yeah. and imagine, no, close your eyes. <laughs> okay, yes. And imagine you're Danny DeVito. What are you eating? In Venice? I mean, I'm thinking a burrito. Where would you find Danny DeVito? Like, it looks like I'm looking at him right here, man. Uh, Hollywood. Holly weird. I would probably say Bob's big boy. Would you slap his ass if you could? I don't know about that. No, you, you got me on this one. Dude, this is, I'm not withholding information on you. Okay. Take a Ouija board, and put the Ouija board in front of it, and put candles around Danny to be star, and be like, Danny, where are you going for clam chowder today? <laughs> This is the bad. I think you need to like defecate on Mr. and then tell him that you will clean it <laughs> when he comes to visit you, but don't let anyone near it. Defecate? Yeah, it's not the weirdest thing to happen in LA. Go with this. So it's a really sad, somber day today because we're on our way to give Daddy the veto back. This mask has really been life changing for me and I think we're gonna get one step closer to finding Danny with it. Anyways. And 20 should be good, right? Hey! What the heck? How are you? Good, thank you. How'd it go? It went really, really well. So the handoff was really successful and what better experience could I have had? Keep it safe. I will. Baby, I please. will. I will. I will. Trust me, okay? It's baby. This is, I care about this as much as you do, okay? Danny DeVito wore this. And Evie, I agree. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Listen. Thank you. It's my baby. I know. I'm, I'm going to keep it safe for you. Thank you.
Hello. Hi. 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 Oh, hi, Nadja. Don't run off. What's no, I'm gonna get you. What's up? <laughs> we are now preparing for stage three, one that involves the real Danny DeVito. Would you let Danny DeVito eat your Cheetos? <laughs> Cheetos. Really? <laughs>